Yep. And these speed racers are risking your life. Well, we've had some major accidents here at this mall in Euclid, and uh, fortunately we haven't had any fatalities, but there have been some serious uh, property damage between vehicles. And Normally, police don't run radar in mall parking lots, but tonight, Officer Bill Lehman is cracking down on lead foots. The reason I'm stopping you tonight, the speed limit here at the mall on private property is 15 miles an hour. I had you on radar passing that other car 38 miles an hour. Speed signs clearly read 15 miles an hour, but almost every car clocked was traveling well above that speed. Why are you driving so fast during the holiday season? There could be kids out. Well, I didn't realize why I was driving that fast. Everyone pulled over this evening got away with just a warning. Early Christmas gift. Thank you. <laughs> but you might not be this lucky, so take the pedal off the metal this holiday season. Especially when it gets dark like this, you don't see people walking in between cars and you could possibly hit them. Charles Belay, CBS 19 News. Well, you can get into some danger inside the mall as well. Wally Griffith tells us how to play it safe while you shop. It's the eve of December and the stores and malls are packed. But among the shoppers, there are those who want to take advantage of the hustle and bustle. During the holiday season, we find that there's an increased number of pickpockets and purse snatchers and thieves of opportunity out there. It's a danger most shoppers are aware of. We never carry a lot of cash, just credit cards. People are, you know, they're crazy this time of year and it gets a little scary, so we always make sure we're together and somebody's always got an eye on the kids. But police say there are things you can do to protect yourself. Guard your wallet or purse. Don't flash your cash and conceal your PIN numbers carefully. One of the most important safety reminders for the shopping season is also one of the most obvious, but it's easy to forget. Don't leave things in the back of your car where they're easy to see. There are other hazards to consider. Be sure young children know their full names and know to seek a responsible adult, like a store clerk or a security guard, if they get lost. What I usually do is I like to stay with a group like this group that I have with me, and we try to stay together.